Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger and I didn't want to drag out the anticipation. I already posted a short... I already post posted a short uh, video of this knife. This is the Buck 591. Yeah, I think it's the 591. It says it on the blade 591. I don't know what the plus symbol is. Or maybe that's a a sword. I don't know. <laughs> but uh I didn't want to drag out the anticipation. Um I I don't believe this is um going to be a a great knife on anybody's radar except for like maybe buck um fans and myself and Man, I don't know what uh, has gone over um, Paxton. He's he's freaking out and trying to get up on. The, uh, that's what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, I'll have to edit that out. Uh, so I really like this knife. I've I I liked it uh, as soon as I saw it. I don't remember the channel that showed it off that I saw. I think this was the Knife Center, but I I really like this knife. I, I like everything about it. I like it from the deep style carry clip to the most important thing, how it opens. You basically twist this uh, bolster and it automatically opens so i would consider it an automatic knife you can see the bolster so it has a mechanism i, I i'm going to do a, a two-handed closing because it's much easier than an auto knife. so there's the the button that gets depressed and lets it fly out you can see it Let, let's see if i can show it to you you can see it get shorter and shorter and shorter. Yeah. And it, it acts as a blade stop too. So I dig. I don't dig necessarily automatic knives, but I really dig unique opening methods. And I believe it maybe ten years ago they had they had a, a knife like this. Uh, so this is a refresh of the 591, but I don't think it was automatic. It was a maybe a assisted opening knife. You would uh, twist the you would twist the bolster, and then you would have a flipper that you flipped, and it would launch out. So that was the old version, but and and they introduced uh, that version along with this version. But they made it fully automatic. It doesn't. It, it has a flipper delete, and it's fully automatic. I really like this knife. I, I mean, I don't know how everybody feels about it. It's an S35 VN steel. Take it or leave it. It's a, a good steel, I think. I have a lot of knives in that steel, and I think that's how they sold this knife as a premium with this uh good steel and it's a hollow grind i like the hollow grind like a i don't have too many hollow grind pocket knives believe it or not i have a lot of pocket knives and very few of them are hollow grind seems like flat grind is the the most popular grind on pocket knives but I do still have a handful, more than a handful of hollow grinds, but not as many as flat grinds. But I love this knife. It fits my hand perfectly. I mean, my hand, it's a little bit small for my hand, but I think the ergos are what's great about it. I like how it fits my hand. And this is a, this was a grail knife for me because I think it was more than, than I would would have spent at the time. 
but I finally got it in hand and I'm very happy to get it. So I like unique opening knives. I brought out this uh, CRKT um, Fulcrum Flame because it, it doesn't have the same opening, but it has sort of a, you have to press, you have to, you have to press this way and it has a sort of splitting bolster type design maybe the whole knife frame and it's just kind of unique and that's why I view this knife it's really unique um, I'm going to uh, get uh, all kinds of people making me offers on this knife and this is not probably a special knife but this knife you can't get anymore and some I always get international people making me offers on this knife. I, I don't know why, because it's nothing special, but I believe you can't get it, so they want to make, they want it. I don't know. So this is, a, again, this is the Fulcrum Flame. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a really cool knife. I'm glad I got it. I, uh, I, I didn't think it was special until I featured on a video once, so... I know King Snake Jake, you want this knife, but I, I can't do it. I mean, I, I really like this knife. Uh, um, if you give me a million dollars, I'll get, I'll give this knife to you. Or maybe when I hit rock bottom soon, <laughs> I'll 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 sell this knife. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know this is my. Uh, if you didn't catch on, this is my grail knife. I really wanted this knife, and uh, I like this knife. It's super special to me, considered it's made by Buck, USA made knife. So, um, I really like it. I'll, I'll be carrying this a lot. This is what will make my probably rotation for the, uh, an entire year. I'll... I'll off and on I'll carry this knife I may I may do away with the pocket clip and I may get a slip for it because that's that's how special this knife is for me all right guys I may I need to make some more videos I'm gonna make a video um, I saw it going around an open tag and I love open tag knives or open tag videos and I saw an open oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. as uh, bees would say I uh, anyway I saw it open tag going around as what three knives would you have to replace if you lost them or they got destroyed or some mishap and I really wanted to do that because it's kind of special to me because I I have the exact knife and it's not impressive but it's impressive to me enough that I have enough of this knives but if I lost one I lost all of them I I would go out of my way to replace this knife so believe it or not this is not the knife even though this is my grail knife I have other knives that aren't my grail knives but are special to me not because someone bought me a knife or that just how they look and I just I dig them so I have at least three knives that I would have to replace so stay tuned for that video and uh, yeah all right Take care, Wastelanders. Very nice, very, very nice.